Hello everyone. Today we're going to be factoring using algebra tile. This is the first part. I will put the link of the second part in the description box below. Um, I put a little note right here using algebra tiles. The area as a sum is equivalent to the area as a product. There is another video that talks about the area as a sum. Again, I will put the link of that video in the description box below. So our target today is to come up with two equations which are equivalent. So we first um, get the general equation and its equivalent factored form. So let's jump into the first example here to better understand um, uh, how to factor using algebra tile. So we're given a tile right here and the first step that we're going to do is to uh, write the area as a sum. So the area as a sum would be we uh, count all the, uh, by the way, there is another video that talks about how we get the area as a sum. So to get the area as a sum, we are going to write this all out. So there's one x squared. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write one x squared here. So that's, I can just go ahead and write x squared. And then I count the x's, one, two, three, four, five. So there's like five x's. And then there's one, two, three, four. There's four ones, okay? The next thing that I would do is to label. So this one right here is the area as a sum. So this is the area as a sum. Now, um, to get the area as a product, we are going to multiply, since this is a rectangle, we're going to multiply the width and the length. In order that we can multiply that, we need to label the sides first. So uh, this, is, uh, this is x, this is one, this is x, this is one, 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 and one. Again, there is another video on how to label the sides of the uh, of an algebra tile. So we are now ready to determine the um, equivalent area as a product. Again, the one that I got, I added all the labels inside the uh, rectangle or inside the tile. So that's x squared, five x's, four ones. So this is the area as a sum. To get the area as a product, I'm going to multiply these two, the width and the length. And the width for this is actually x plus 1. And the length is x plus 4. Because you have a x, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this two, uh, by the way, this red one right here is actually the area as a product. Product means I multiply the width and the length. This one is the area as a sum. I I add all of them here, whatever whatever the labels are. So these two equations that we have here are equivalent equations. So if you use FOIL method for this, or if you use the area model, it would come out with it would come out this. Now here's the thing. This is where the word area model is coming from. Area model because we multiply the length and the width to get the area. So that's why in our class I would usually mention area model. That's where it's coming from. At this time, I would like you to please pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, we go over this. So the area as a sum would be, this is going to be just 1x squared. So I write x squared. And then I count the x's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's plus 6x. And there's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 ones. And then plus 8. And then I label the parts here. That's 1, 1x. One, this is x, 1, 1, 1, and 1. So this is the length and this is the width. So this means that the equivalent factored form is x plus 2 times x plus 4. So x plus 2 because you have x, 1, 2, and then x, 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is the general form. 
this is the factored form. And this is the area as a sum. This is the area as a product. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to another example right here. So we write the equivalent expression given the algebra tiles right here. So I'll, I'll take the first one and I will give you time to do the second one. So we pretty much do the same thing. We uh, write the uh, area as a sum. So there are two x squared. So I'm gonna write two x squared, okay. And then plus, I count the x's, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's plus six x plus one, two, three, four, plus four. And we label the parts to get the area as a product. So that is one x, we got another x here, we got another x, we get a one, 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 and one. So the, it, this again, this is the area as a sum, so because I added all of them, the ones that are inside. Now I get the area as a product, so that would be x plus one, and then that is two x, because you have two x's plus four. And this is the factored form, this is the general form. Now, at this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so let's go over this. So we have um, we have two x squared. So I'm gonna write two x squared. Then I count the um, I count the x's: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight x. And then I count the ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's a plus eight. And I label the parts here. So this is one, one, x, x and x, one, one, one and one. And so the equivalent um, factored form would be x plus two times two x plus four. So again, if you multiply this using FOIL method, it would come out to this form. Again, this is the area as a sum. This is the area as a product. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.